So after a couple weeks of the community collectively throwing a fit, Konami seems to have remembered that we exist. What's up guys, Terry of Gaming here, more eFootball news and finally Konami is actually speaking with us again. They remembered our number like an X that had broken our hearts. So they've answered some eFootball questions so we're going to go through these and discuss what it means for the series. Also guys, I want to let you guys know I was on a podcast by Pez Rumors featuring Cam Aldino. A lot of you guys may know him from YouTube as well. We spoke for two hours and 30 minutes on the state of Pez, the history of Pez, our favorite Pez moments, and what eFootball is going to mean and do for the franchise. So I'm going to drop a link for that in the description below. Check that out. Two hours and 30 minutes of Pez content if you want more. But let's go through this Q&A that Konami have finally dropped today. Look at this. Turns out Konami can communicate somewhat. How does this take so long to come out? You'll never know. This should have come out the same day of the trailer. They let all this build up happen. They get trashed for weeks and they finally answer a few basic questions. If the roadmap had this stuff in it, this wouldn't happen. It's all about communication, especially as a video game company. This is the, this is 2021. You can't just release a game and be quiet like Konami tries to do. You need to engage with your families. Regardless, here we go. So, ahead of our major eFootball announcement, we wanted to briefly answer common questions that we've seen more to, much more to follow this month. Interesting here, they say ahead of our next major announcement. So that's this month, which we've heard near the end of the month. We're gonna see a lot more information. Hopefully they're a lot more clear and they learn their lessons. First off, is eFootball a mobile game for consoles? It's developed first for consoles, but a platform for everyone to enjoy. The game will take full advantage of the hardware capabilities of each supported device. Good to hear, obviously, that there's a focus. We'll have to see. The proof will be in the pudding. Again, if that's the case, the trailer did not show that, except for a couple of scenes that people have spoken about and we've seen. If you're going to make a game and say that it's console first, show console first graphics. Secondly, will answering this question as well, will next gen, will next gen graphics be downgraded to play against mobile users? We will make graphical adjustments to the mobile version, but the next gen graphics on consoles and PC will not be downgraded. Also, great news for PC, it will be next gen, so excited for that. We're gonna get some kind of game that hopefully is worthy of that on PC. Now, next up, can you turn off or filter cross platform matchmaking? We will include multiple filters for matchmaking based on location and platform. I like this, I mean, obviously it's necessary, right? If you are on the PS5 and you don't wanna mess with someone on mobile and have to deal with that, makes sense, you can pick that. But if you just want a quick game, let it run, love it. Is early autumn launch basically a demo? In many ways, yes. They should have said this. If you announce it as a demo and say, hey guys, we want to collect feedback, it's free to play. Play this for three months. We know we're delaying it again, guys, but we promise you. The reaction is different. In many ways, yes, we want to get want people to get hands-on with eFootball as soon as possible. So we will launch with a limited number of teams and modes. Exact details to follow. What exactly will be free to play at launch during early autumn? They're really branding this early autumn thing. eFootball will have no microtransactions, so everything will be free to play at launch. We'll then add more content during autumn, exact content details to follow. This tweet alone, even emphasizing that there are no microtransactions, which is one of the criticisms they're getting now as a company, would be such a great thing to put out day one, let people know, hey, look, we're launching a free game and it's free for the first few months and it's absolutely no microtransactions on it. So try it out if you will. Simple, right? Up next, can you play against the CPU AI from early autumn? Yes, local match will include this so you can still play against the computer. Will there be support for edit mode option files? Very important here. We are planning to add edit mode option files as a free update for PS5, PS4, and PC after the initial release. Exact details to follow. So basically, now you have to think of it as how they've done it for the past few years. This is essentially Pez Lite coming out first. Remember, Pez Lite usually comes out a couple months into the cycle. So imagine Pez Lite coming out first and then adding in some more of the offline modes. Become a Legend is not mentioned here at all, so I don't think it's coming back. Uh, but Master League, when will Master League be added to eFootball? Master League will be available as, a pre as premium downloaded content in the future. Please wait for further announcements. Another thing they could have said early. Of course, waiting is annoying, but at least you're getting some clarification here. And lastly, back to my club, or at least the team building mode, I think it's going to be called now. Can you sign players without special agents? 
Previous games had a strong lottery element, but eFootball lets you nominate and acquire your favorite players with match pass. A system to receive items based on matches played. Free and paid match passes will be available. I love this. This is great. You know, we know about the slot machine lottery element of some of these online modes. So the fact that it's going to be a bit more streamlined and still, you know, possible for players who don't want to spend money. Sounds good. Again, good stuff. Finally, some confirmation. Nothing even that crazy. They didn't give us anything ridiculously new, but it confirmed a couple of things we had worries about. And this is what we hope to expect from Konami going forward. Listen, let's put July behind us. Let's keep our fingers crossed for August. The truth is we can do nothing but hope at this point. Pez and Konami, forget Konami. Pez has been a long love of all of us. We've seen the game develop. It's part of our childhood. So we don't want to see the game go away. We want to root for the game and hope we get a good product on the pitch. Now, like I said, don't forget to check out the podcast, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Master League is back this week. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.